Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well amidst this really crappy situation. I hope that you're spending some time outdoors in order to get some fresh air, maybe making some discoveries around your house. Um, but I also hope that you are practicing proper social distancing. Speaking of social distancing, I've been doing a lot of running. I should mention that I absolutely despise running. Um, I'm not very fast. It takes me a long time to get the distance that I want to go. I'm running about three miles, and this hill right here is almost at the end of my run. And by the point that I get to it, I am moving at a turtle's pace. The other day, I happened to notice that on the trail, an animal had left something right where I was trying to run. And because I was moving at a turtle's pace, I didn't step in it. I just happened to notice it. And my noticing got me wondering, why would an organism do that right in the middle of the trail that I'm trying to run? Many of you know that I really enjoy taking photographs of animals. Uh, one of the things that I use in order to photograph animals are a, are a number of covert scouting cameras. These are cellular capable. Um, they've been a really great resource in the classroom. I've used them um, on most of the images with a lot of inquiry type activities with students where I can just throw out a bunch of images that have data associated with them, time of day that the image was taken, temperature, um, moon phase, um, various data points that my kids can analyze. Uh, the other cool thing about it is that uh, these cameras will send me images in real time. Uh, Covert has their own app that uh, pushes out all of the, from each one of the cameras, all of the images that are taken at that camera. Uh, so like, for example, in the last few minutes, um, I've gotten a picture of the neighbor's house cat. Uh, at my house. This camera set up just right in my backyard. Um, this is actually a camera that we've been getting quite a few bobcat pictures in and it's literally out my backyard like 30 feet. Um, so that's been kind of a cool thing. Uh, it's a way for me to kind of track some of the different organisms that are frequenting the area in which I live. So Going back to our really crappy situation, uh, we're all confined, we're kind of getting stir crazy. Did you know you don't need a cellular camera or a trail camera in order to identify the specific organisms that might exist in your area? We can use animal waste as an indicator of the specific species that live around our neighborhoods. So no matter whether you call it crap, feces, defecation, manure, dung, poop, excrement, stool, fecal matter, waste, it's really important to recognize that you should not ever handle animal scat. And we're going to see in this video why. One of the organisms that might be frequenting your area is a badger. Badger scat varies in size. It's oftentimes full of moisture. Its texture is dependent upon its diet. Um, its diet does include things like worms and berries, depending upon the time of the year. Oftentimes, the indicator of badger scat is that they will dig a latrine and they will deposit their waste in the latrine. So you can see in this image where there was a hole that was dug and then the organism deposited its scat there. Um, it does have a muscle. 